Hi everyone, this is Sharon Nazarian here with Big City Vegan and today I'm going to make for you a recipe that was inspired by one of my favorite TV shows, Castle, and also by these great vegan marshmallows that are called Dandies and they're made by Chicago uh, Vegan Foods and they hooked me up with a little bag so I thought I would uh, do a little review and um, make some things with it. So, um, and I was inspired to make a s'morelet because on this, a, a couple seasons ago on Castle, they, um, they, at Rick Castle made a s'morelet for his daughter and, you know, it wasn't really well received, but <laughs> for some reason I feel still inspired to sort of try and create it and veganize it. So, um, so that's what we're going to do today. Um, so there's a bunch of other ingredients we have. So we're going to start first with um, silken tofu. Um, and tofu is very versatile. You can uh, do so many things with it. We're going to take about a half of a package um, of the silken tofu. And we're going to put that in our food processor. And get all that in there. And it's a little... You want to drain it first, by the way. When you, when you open the packet, you want to drain it and then cut it in half and then put it in there. Okay, and then we're going to basically, um, I'm just going to process this a little bit just until it gets smooth. And then we're going to put in a couple of other ingredients here. And we're going to do a tablespoon of agave. I'm going to do a quarter of a teaspoon of vanilla. Now, Again, a s'morelet is a combination of an omelet and a s'more. So, um, so we're basically making a vegan omelet, which is, there, you can make, there are a lot of really great recipes, and I'll put one on my website soon, um, of making like a savory omelet. But since we're making a s'morelet, um, I'm going to not use all those savory ingredients like nutritional yeast and garlic, and there's a whole bunch of other stuff that we can put in there. I'm just going to process this one a little bit. And then I'm going to add, we have um, a half, a, I'm sorry, a quarter of a cup of whole wheat pastry flour and a tablespoon of, I'm sorry, and a, one and a half teaspoons of arrowroot, or you can also use organic cornstarch. This, we're going to just do a dash of turmeric, and it's kind of a strong flavor, so you just want to do a dash just to give, um, give it a little yellow color. Let that go for a little bit. Make sure it's all blended in there, and it is. So we're going to take that out. And I don't know what's going to happen tonight on the season finale, you know, Beckett and Castle have been flirting for like 10 million years now, and are they going to get together? I don't know. I'm certainly hoping so, and I will be tuned in for sure. So we got vegan, um, vegan graham crackers, and um, basically these are from Health Valley, and they're really good, no uh, honey. So I basically took a few of them, it's a, okay, create about a, a half a cup. Uh, or so, and I just broke them into pretty small pieces, and then you're just going to want to mix that in. I'm going to wait for the that to heat up a little bit, and throw it in there. You get a little sizzle, you know it's done. So I put a little oil on the pan. We're at about medium heat, and this is actually going to make about two s'morelets. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that going in there, and just push it around a little bit with your spoon. Spread it around. It's not going to make the most perfect circle, but that's okay. And fill it in there. And then we're just going to put a lid on it and let it cook some. Um, you want to let it cook for about three to five minutes or so. You want, but you don't want to go anywhere. Where? And. I put it on a medium heat. Um, you don't want to put it too high because you want it to cook through and not burn on the bottom. And these Dandy's uh, vegan marshmallows are really awesome. They're really good and you can make so many great things with them. Rice Krispie treats. You can put them in your hot chocolate. I'm actually going to make some cookies um, with these. I have a special recipe I'm working on. Okay, so it's just about ready. Um, you can see it's uh, still, there's still a little uh, wet on top, but most of it you could see is matte and uh, cooked. Um, and as long as we can flip it without all in one piece, oh, well, there you go. <laughs> I say go for it. 
And then um, all we're going to do is put some marshmallows on one side. <laughs> uh, and then you've got the vegan chocolate chips. We're going to put those on. About a tablespoon, I guess, is what we have going here. Uh, I've got a little more than a tablespoon. Now let's throw in another marshmallow. What the heck? Okay, so now we're just going to put the lid on it and also let it cook some more and let those marshmallows melt. All right, so now it's melted down some and just going to go ahead and flip, flip it here. Oh, and the other side got nice and cooked and could even, yeah, see, it's all melted in there just like a s'more. Um, okay, so let's turn off the heat. Always turn off the heat. It's a good idea. And just going to serve that up. S'morelet style, castle style. Okay. Look at that. <laughs> so, um, Nathan, Rick, <laughs> we got your vegan s'morelet here. And just as a suggestion, you know, this could be something that you serve at your next, um, barbecue when you have your vegan and vegetarian friends over you might want to think about serving this to them because if they if they watched you on Jimmy Fallon the other night I don't think they're gonna to want to eat any uh, veggie burgers off of your grill so uh, so anyway so here's the smarlet so um so I guess we'll try it look at how melted it is in there look at that gooey goodness Whoa, check it out. All right, let's try it. It's a little, now it's a little hot. I should probably let it cool a little bit first, but because of the sugar, sugar gets very. <laughs> it's actually. <laughs> It's actually really good. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so Nathan, Rick, this is more lits for you. So, uh, anyway, I'll see y'all next time <laughs> here at Big City Vegan. Maybe we'll make something equally as strange, or maybe we won't. I don't know what we'll make. So, anyway, that's it. Hope y'all are having a good day. See you later. Bye. <laughs>